you in the first place, Joe, for the set. But he's, uh, he should speak first because, in fact, he is uh, hosting us today. So we're in the parliament. Business is key. But we cannot without a parliament. Let me share with you some personal uh, reflections. I'm also glad to be here because I started my professional life as a businessman. A decade I was in business, eight years ago, from 63 till 73. And then I entered politics. And there I got a, a friend for life. She's still alive. Her name is Gro Harlem Brundtland. Gro was minister those days for the environment in Norway. And I was a minister for economy and energy in the Netherlands. So we had reasons to meet each other. And that went on later, because he had to become, in the next decade, prime minister in Norway, and I became prime minister in the Netherlands. We continue talking about ecology, this was her start, and economy, this was mine. And then she wrote this wonderful report for the UN in the second half of the 80s, the, Our Common Future. Maybe you know that report. And I was intrigued to talk with her about what is sustainability, what is responsibility for generations to come. Because that was the key element in environment and development. So we went together in 92 to Rio de Janeiro, the Conference on Environment and Development. There was a strange atmosphere there because this was after the end of the Cold War and the world concluded it's now market economy all over the world. And people felt relieved by that fact. This is good. But there were a number of people in Rio who said, it's great now that we have market economy all over the world, but is there not a risk that it is a bit unbalanced? So they made the plea to write to go for a birth charter. You can imagine that Gro and myself were those who applauded that. Said, we have to give it a try. So that took quite some time in the 90s, but in 2000, there was not only the Millennium Declaration of the UN, but you had also the conclusion. We concluded about an Earth Charter. Since then, it went on. After that, I was Prime Minister. I ended political career and I became for number of years a professor on globalization. Strange idea. What professors ask me, what is that globalization? So that's the reason I want to be a professor on globalization, hmm. to give speeches, to teach students. And I did that in the Netherlands and in the Kennedy School for Governance, Boston. Those years I thought a lot about how do we realize this, what is needed for our common future there in Rio, the way forward. And gradually I concluded that the governance had to be a bit different. <coughs> Business has to play a more important role. And we need, as it is written, ethics in business. We get to see these presentations of several of you this morning who made it clear that it is doable to business. But of course it is not business alone. It's also society. You might say civil society. Many NGOs who make a plea that business had to do better, taking into account your responsibilities. Ah, and then of course, I started with politics this morning. You cannot do without politics. Maybe in the past, the um, people thought that 
politics can improve the world in itself by doing good politics. I came to the conclusion there around the year 2000. I said, no, let's formulate that we can only be successful, effective, to create a better future if there is complementary governance. This is business, this is civil society and politics. Only when these three parts of governance work together, then you be effective. So we are learning that now. Many companies practice, as you do, corporate social responsibility these days. And NGOs, I see, later we go to Greenpeace as an example here, this table, uh, who were for a while just protest movements, are participating, complementary to business, to governments. So these were a few remarks I wanted uh, to make. Uh, at some point, you find time to read this Earth chart. Well, only I explained a little bit one sentence I brought in. It's only effective in the way forward if the three work together. And there is another small sentence in that Earth Charter which I brought in personally. Therefore, I have to spend two minutes on, you mentioned well, him already, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. I had the privilege to meet him still as a professor on globalization last century at the very end of that. Ah, the art of living foundation, the art of living. That gave me an idea how key that is because I have lived many years in a atmosphere, even today, is so much gloom and doom in the world. So the art of living is essential a capacity to go for the positive. I heard that from Sri Sri at the very beginning. So it stimulated to request my colleagues, the group who wrote together the Earth Charter, allow me an few words at the very end of that. And there I wrote down the joyful celebration of life. And I found out also with the very good presentations the, this morning, these guys are very po positive. So that's a key factor. So that's what I wish you all in your personal careers, the joyful celebration of life. Thank you.